over 98 kilometers of submarine cable, almost 20 kilometers of land cables, a bi-directional flow capacity of 200 megawatts of electricity at 230 kilovolts. This is the Malta Italy interconnector, the longest high voltage alternating current interconnector of its capacity in the world. In 2010, Enemalta contracts Norwegian company Nexens to manufacture and lay the submarine interconnector and oversee all related works on land at Martub in Malta and at Ragusa on the Italian island of Sicily. By the end of 2013, the first part of the project, the terminal station at Martub, is almost complete. This station includes gas-insulated switchgear, shunt reactors, transformers and other equipment to monitor and control the electricity transferred through the submarine cable before it is distributed to the Maltese grid. The most crucial parts of the work connecting Malta to the European grid are carried out during 2014. Nexens uses its specialized cable laying vessel, the Nexens Skagerak, to bring the submarine cable from its manufacturing facility in Holden, Norway to the Mediterranean Sea in two batches. The submarine cable is pulled to land through a microtunnel at Islet Marku Bay, one kilometer away from the Martub terminal station, and installed in a reinforced concrete culvert. Within a few months, the submarine cable is laid and buried in the seabed between the two islands. Enemalta makes sure that this process does not disrupt the Mediterranean marine environment. And special measures are in place to safeguard the endemic Posidonia oceanica, a protected seagrass species that grows in this area. The interconnector links the Maltese grid to the European energy network through a substation operated by the Italian transmission system operator Turner at Ragusa. Here, Enemalta's station includes outdoor air-insulated switchgear, shunt reactors and equipment for the protection and control of the connection to the Italian grid. In September 2014, the submarine cable is pulled ashore at Marina di Ragusa. Underground cables along 19 kilometers of secondary roads connect the submarine interconnector to the switchgear at the substation. The submarine cable also includes two fiber optic clusters for data transfer. In January 2015, all systems are ready and final testing begins. The first synchronization of the Italian and Maltese networks through the interconnector takes place successfully in March 2015. The Malta-Italy interconnector is not only a first for Malta, but also an important technological step forward in the development of this kind of electricity interconnection around the world. It ends the Maltese islands isolation from the European energy network and provides Ena Malta with security of supply and flexibility of service to its customers.